Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to look at mental rays, physical sun and sky. So this is just going to be a basic overview and uh, I will not discuss all the parameters in detail. But having said that, I will discuss uh, physical sun and sky uh, in a way so that you can go ahead and use it in your projects and uh, you know make use of it, utilize it at least for uh, basic exterior lighting. So let's get started. I'm going to start off uh, by creating uh, a plane here. I'm going to create it as a square, not as a rectangle. So I'm just going to create a plane here. Uh, we can maximize this viewport by pressing Alt W. I'm going to zoom out a little. And uh, I'm going to create a, a teapot here in the middle. That's a pretty typical uh, max scene uh, but this will serve the purpose so I'm going to go into the material editor by pressing M I'm going to assign some basic materials here uh, uh, let's say I want to use a mental ray arcane design material on this so for that I would have to first uh, go here so kind of tight on the space because uh, I'm capturing this so I'm going to go into render setup here and uh, by default I have my scan line renderer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll all the way down and assign uh, my production renderer here as mental ray yeah. I'm gonna say okay so now that I have mental ray assigned and uh, within my material editor here I can click on the standard button and uh, go into arc in design so I'm going to go select that and say uh, double click on it or I could have just said OK and I would get my arc and design material on this. I can rename this if I want. I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm going to assign this to the teapot now by clicking on this button and uh, I can change the color. I'm going to make it blue. So I like blue. I'm going to click OK. So now that I have uh, the scene ready, I'm going to close the material editor. Uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, let me just scale this uh, out a little. Yeah, scale this up. I'm going to hide uh, my grid by pressing G. I'm going to toggle this and move into the top viewport. So I like creating my physical sky, sun and sky in the top viewport. I can go into create. Uh, go into systems and uh, start by creating this daylight system either uh, this way or I can go into create here and uh, I believe it's in uh, uh, lights daylight system either way I get to create my physical sun and sky and whenever you're creating physical sun and sky you're going to get this daylight system creation option where uh, it is going to ask you whether you would want to use the mental ray photographic exposure control I would like to use this so uh, for now I'm just go I'm just going to say yes so uh, in creation mode and you have this uh, icon you can click and drag to create this compass first okay so I'm going to create the compass and then uh, I have my daylight system here so I'm just going to create it drag this and create this and right click to finish now if I wanted to move this light I won't be able to move it okay so what I would need to do is excuse me I want to move into uh, the modifier and uh, number one set this uh, sunlight and skylight toggle this to mental ray sun and uh, toggle this to mental ray sky and it's going to ask you if you would like to put uh, the physical uh, sky into the environment map uh, I'm going to say yes for this what it's going to do is it's going to add uh, if I go into rendering uh, environment uh, add this mental ray sky into my environment now that's what I want so I'm, I'm going to add that now I won't be able to move this light now still now what I would need to do is go and switch this uh, the position right now it is being controlled by the date time and location method here so I'm going to switch this to manual 
so that I can move this light uh, wherever I would like to so I'm gonna keep it there okay so I'm going to maximize this viewport maybe zoom in a little and uh, I'd like to create a camera from this view so I can go to view and uh, say uh, create camera from view or I can just press ctrl C okay so that I put a camera there and uh, let's just uh, take a render and see what we have voila there you have your physical sun and sky I'm just gonna pause this capture and uh, I'll be back in a minute 